Well, hello guys, it's Danny. Welcome to my channel. And um, yeah, this video is gonna be about uh, what it's like to have kidney stone surgery. So a few, uh, like maybe a week ago actually, I had the surgery and it was like the most painful process that I have ever uh, experienced in my life. <laughs> So pretty much I went into the hospital right in the morning. I checked in at 7 a.m. and pretty much they were preparing me for the surgery. So, uh, you know, I had to wear my gown. Um, they put me into a, a room uh, with some few other folks, pretty much like four people or so. And pretty much it's like a, a surgery room where they were prepared to, you know, have each person go through their own surgery with their respective doctors. Uh, so they had the anesthesiologist talk to me and all this fun stuff. So before anything happened at all, like anesthesiologists came and talked to me and they needed to inject the local anesthesia into my back near my kidney were so that the whole area would be numb for about 12 hours. Uh, that was pretty painful because the needle itself was seven inches. It was like, yeah, this long. Um, not only did it hurt, um, they had to be very precise on where they were gonna do it. So they had a, an ultrasound kind of right there and the uh, the doctor would uh, pretty much start slowly start jabbing it into my back and you can see on the screen the needle going into the back uh, the the crazy part is that um, I was a little bit scared because I had a medical student do it um, the doctor was right next to him telling him what to do and they were saying, they were kind of like talking amongst each other, like, oh, you know, inject right there, but be careful right there, there's a vein. And I'm like, don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was a little bit scared because it was a medical student that was doing it. Um, probably not his first time, but um, yeah, that was fun. I don't even remember them administering the uh, anesthesia because I just, I remember just talking to the nurse and then all of a sudden, like I just pass the freak out and then I just wake up. So I just wake up and the nurse is like, everything's done. And I'm like, what? I barely blinked. I barely blinked and it was over. So I didn't even notice that I, I was done. So. I was in bed and uh, next thing you know it, they wheeled me off, well not wheel me off, but they wheeled the whole bed into a room and um, I get to call for room service for uh, I think it was maybe lunch time or dinner time already. So the thing uh, I did not know about was that they didn't tell me, I did not know that I was going to have a, a catheter, pretty much is a um, a long ass tube that goes into your pee hole and into the bladder so that pretty much all you're doing is you know automatically peeing into a bag on the side of the bed which is good I don't have to walk around and but also like I was in a lot of pain um, like my side kidney was like having a lot of pressure and it was just really hard to sleep overnight at all. And uh, the crazy part is um, you can see the tube is see-through, you know, it's uh, clear and you can see I'm just pissing out blood. Like it's constant blood. Like in the beginning, it's like red, like tomato juice almost. And then slowly over time, it slowly turned pink but yeah, it, it was like the most annoying part ever because like I had to like make sure the pee goes into the bag because like the way it was set up, the pee would like would keep getting stuck in the tube 
and it would just cause tremendous pressure in my bladder. So in the middle of the night when I wake up because I automatically peed inside the tube, I would have to kind of move the tube kind of like trying to use gravity so that the two the the piss would go into the bag and I had to do that all night and I woke up every few hours because the nurse had to check my vitals uh, so it was not a fun experience so that was the first day and yeah let's uh, enjoy some clips of me eating please ignore the this reminds you of something right no, I can't take it off. It's kind of sticky because it had a tube down my throat as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll take it off later on, but not right now. Hello, guys. So I just had my surgery this morning. Got here at 7 a.m. at the hospital and then the surgery was at 9 and I finished around like 1.30 ish. So, yeah. So right now, I lost my voice because of the, the surgery. I uh, don't know why. Um, so right now I'm having dinner and I think I kind of over ordered, but who cares, right? All right, I'm gonna tell you guys what I got. I got roast turkey breast with herb sauce, bread stuffing, seasoned green beans. I got chicken noodle soup with cookies, apple juice, pineapple. Yeah, that's it. It looks good. I'm gonna try it right now before it gets cold. I actually have like a bag of piss on the side, but you guys don't wanna see that. It's actually pretty hard to swallow. My throat is so dry. Probably should talk to you guys about the surgery. But yeah, I don't remember much. Like literally, I just like, I was talking to the nurse. They injected something into my vein. Probably the general anesthesia. Yeah, the general anesthesia or something. And I passed out. I woke up and it was done. It was like literally I blinked and they were done. And that was it. So, I mean, I had a good experience, but right now I'm in pain. My left side kind of hurts. They gave me uh, some pain medications. Um, so I'm trying to heal up, but yeah, it was crazy experiences. It's my first surgery and it was really scary. It was, um, yeah, I was a little bit worried, but I mean, the nurses were so kind. So like I was able to order dinner and look how big their dinner menu is. Like it opens up, it's huge. What the heck? I was like so surprised. I was like, what the heck? It took me like a whole hour just to go through everything. So I am staying here for a day. So I'll be sleeping here tonight. Um, no biggie, I'm just gonna have, I have my, my my phone charger, thank God, and my headphones. So I can listen to music, watch, you know, some, some TV, and um, yeah, just enjoy the night at the hospital. So have you guys ever had surgery before? And if so, how was it? Let me know. This was a, a good experience, but at the same time, it's kind of scary. Like my side is in pain still. Hopefully my body recovers quick. Uh, let me know, yeah. I actually ended up coming back to the emergency room because I was just having so much pain and um, Pretty much I wasn't having like the correct bowel movements because I was taking um, medicine that had narcotics and also a lot of um, acetaminophen. So I was, I remember, I think I took like at least 
12 pills of like Tylenol and I took like I think it was like four narcotics uh, pills with narcotics in it and some other pills because just to relieve the pain and so I was having really bad stomach cramps and I was just like having a lot of pressure in my kidneys so I went to the emergency room like a few a day later um, so the scary part is I was inside the same department as the COVID-19 patients for the first night. So um, I only ate breakfast that morning too. And pretty much I ended up going to the emergency room at like 11 a.m. And I didn't eat until the next morning. So I was in the emergency room department with all the COVID patients for like, I don't know, like, 15 hours or something like that and next day they finally gave me some food I was able to get a CT scan done and they just started like giving me a crap ton of laxatives different kinds like and then I ended up staying another night in the hospital so it was two nights and I just like started having all they just they just gave me a crap ton of laxatives and it wasn't working. I don't want to say I was going to, the, I went to the hospital because I had constipation, but it was the pain and the fact that the medication was making me constipated. This is a little bit too, too much information. But yeah, that was what was going on. That's what I was going through. And uh, the nurses and doctors were like, this is, uh, this happens all the time. And um, yeah, I didn't, the, I have never gone, like not gone to the bathroom or for like five days straight. So I, I was like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna blow up or something. <laughs> but yeah, everything turned out okay after like a crap ton of laxatives and a, a crap ton of medication. And um, so right now I am situated at home now and um, I am still healing. Um, I do have a stent in my uh, ure ureter tube. So I do have a stent in my ureter tube, which is pretty much like a plastic straw that is in my ureter tube from my kidney to my bladder so that uh, my kidney can heal and it could also help release all the pressure and also the the pee that is um, coming out from the bladder that had uh, that I had surgery on. So I mean the bladder, the kidney that I had surgery on. So in a few days, in five days or so, I'm gonna come back to the doctor and they're gonna remove the tube. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna stick a tube up my pee hole and they're gonna remove the tube and I'm not looking forward to it but I'm ready to have it out of me so yeah <sighs> that's my experience with the, the emergency room with uh, an invasive surgery um, I never want to go through something like this again <laughs> uh, it does run in my family though so um, my aunt had it, my grandma had it, so um, it wasn't surprising that I had it. Um, another thing that I am scared of, or I'm just waiting for, is the hospital bill. Um, the hospital that I went to, I actually had approval to get the surgery done, but I don't think I had approval to actually go to the emergency room but I didn't know where else to go. So we're gonna see what the bill is gonna be like, how much it's gonna cost. It's probably gonna cost me an arm or a leg. I might as well, you know, have taken out the kidney just to sell it, just to pay for my hospital bill. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Uh, this was a pretty crazy one. And um, yeah, hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.